What is up, guys? My name is Mark San Maria. Uh, I just, I just elbowed Melissa. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog, the on the MSM on the road vlog. Uh, we are here in San Luis Pass, next to Galveston, Texas, at the San Luis Pass County RV Park, right? Yes. And uh, we thought it was going to be like this nice, extravagant kind of resort style RV park. It's nice. Don't get me wrong, but it's like fisherman central like everyone i mean they basically come here to fish where, whoa, whoa, where's the bird oh look at the big bird it's a pelican anyways we are packed in here like sardines everyone is fishing it's like fishing crazy let's go get these birds melissa's melissa's freaking i'm freaking out, out guys melissa's these are beautiful out right birds wait, wait. all right i know these are just pelicans guys but you gotta understand we don't see these in my parts in dallas texas there they are they're huge look at these guys Oh man, we're gonna see how close we can get without getting attacked. Oh, they're going, they're going. Oh, he did a little mini hop. Another mini hop. Another mini hop. Oh man, these are awesome. So if you're wondering how we made it out here, my dad, my mom and dad actually planned this out a while back. Uh, they wanted us to come out here. I had no idea about it. My dad's a big fisherman. We did fish last night and I like fishing also, but I fished so much growing up that it's not as intriguing to me now, but I did catch a really, really nice flounder last night. We had a lot of good fishing last night. We fished till like two in the morning, so it was a lot of time, good time. But anyways, we are heading out to... Lake Jackson's Farmer's Market. We're going out to the Farmer's yep. Market. I think it's cool to go out to the Farmer's Market because it gives you kind of a taste of like the local scene. So we're gonna take you out there and show you all around. All right, we made it. It's in a parking lot in front of TJ Maxx and Home Goods right over here a lot of a lot of stuff we'll, we'll find out what's in here they got a little petting zoo barnyard thing here it's kind of cool all right let's go all right so i would say this isn't really as much a farmer's market as it is like a flea market like there's a whole bunch of people selling their goods not necessarily food or anything i mean it's nice don't get me wrong but poppets flags more poppets Ah oh, well, we'll have fun. All right, we got some boudin balls. Uh, I don't know if they're good, but I wanted something to snack on. I don't know what it is about about uh, farmers market and flea markets that make me want to eat the whole time, but yeah, it is what it is. All right, so the farmers market was kind of a bust, but we did get something really, really cool. We ended up like the farmers market didn't have any actual produce or fruit or vegetables or anything. It was like a whole bunch of vendors, like like I guess um like arts and crafts vendors, but I did get something really cool. So I've been like ripping the the Blackstone, my nickname, the Hibachi Chef. I wanted a cool Hibachi knife. Check out this sweet Hibachi knife I got. Oh man, look at how beautiful. Of course my AC kicks on as soon as I start showing you guys this. But there was a guy selling these knives, handmade knives. He had a Hibachi knife, but there's a show that I watched called Forged in Fire. And one of the guys on Forged in Fire actually forged these. This is Damascus steel. You can see these different patterns. Basically the way they do that is they layer a whole bunch of steel together and they forge it. So it's a whole bunch of different layers of steel. It's supposed to be stronger. Um, disadvantages it rust, but I wanted it because I always thought it was cool. I ended up getting my son this beautiful folder. It's also Damascus steel here. And on the back, you can see that they, they etched it, which is really, really clean, like really, really nice. It's definitely different. Just the different etchings of the back and then the handmade handles. I thought they were really cool. I thought it was kind of a coincidence that when we were going to the farmer's market, I wanted a hibachi knife. There was no actual food there, but there was a hibachi knife place or a place that was selling knives. And I got these sweet knives. So it was somewhat of a score, but not didn't really get local fruit stuff. So hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button. I'm actually gonna tour this place right now. We're actually packing up to leave. I'm gonna tour it, I'm gonna show you guys around. It's an awesome place if you like fishing. If you don't like fishing, maybe not the best place, but I'll show you why in the next video. So make sure you turn on the notification bell. Sorry about the bust on the farmer's market. How much we can control there, but anyways, hope you liked the video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.